Vitality is our ability to have spiritual, emotional, mental, and physical bliss. Some call it paradise. We call it a game. Hey all my Crimsonites and welcome to the Crimson Cure channel where we embrace our femininity, increase our womanly value, and celebrate our brothers. So join me on our feminine journey to learn, heal, and grow. Hey there my Crimsonites and welcome to the Crimson Cure channel. I'm your host, femininity coach and author of the Crimson Cure. And this is my perspective. So what we're talking about today is games that black women like to play. This is part one. This is going to be a little mini series that I have going on for my morning videos. So you do not want to miss them. And the one that we're focusing on today is I'll submit when you lead. So basically, I'm going to be poking holes in a lot of these narratives and at least in part what inspired this was the video that i did um about the lady talking about how women sacrifice their time and beauty and blah 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 you can actually watch that video right here you know when i do that sometimes they don't show the video that pops up even when i put it there but anyways you can see the video um again right here should pop up so you can watch it and the one thing that the guy said in the video really tipped it off. And he was, she said, you know, we don't have time to play with you guys. He said, so stop playing. That's going to be my message for the next few days. Stop playing. I'm going to need y'all chicks to stop playing because the women get on here on social media and complain about men. They complain about how these relationships have not gone the way that they quote unquote want them to go. And men don't want the relationship and men don't want this and men aren't doing that. When the reality is a lot of you women out here, y'all don't want the stuff that y'all say y'all want. Y'all just saying stuff because you think it sound good. You think that it makes you sound mature or more feminine or whatever it is. And I actually got a video that I want to show you guys, but I'm not going to show it to you right now. Right now, I'm just, I just want to talk to you, okay? Because that's the big lie. I'll submit when you lead. So basically, we're going to say that Every man has bad leadership and you don't have any bad followership. Like your following is always perfect or it's always good enough. And the reality is it is not because y'all don't know how to follow. You don't know how to follow a man's lead. That is not how you were raised. You were raised in feminism. You were raised in gynocratic beliefs. You were raised under the loss of value system. So you don't have any real, real concept about what it actually means to follow a man's lead, to recognize his four Ps as what they are and as something that's beneficial and helpful and good. Um, you like to characterize that as toxic masculinity so that you don't actually have to do it. So a man that comes along in your life that has system order and structure, you like to say, well, he's being controlling. OK, instead of looking at it for what it actually is, that is the nature of men. Men have control over and influence. They have control over their environment and they have influence over the people in their environment. They have that's that's the essence of leadership. So when you come and say you want a man to lead and you'll submit, how do you submit? Y'all don't even know what submission is. Y'all think submission is slavery. So if you think submission is slavery, there's no way that you would go for this quote unquote slavery if only the right man came along. So if only the right slave master come along, then you will subject yourself to the slavery that you think submission is. See, y'all don't be making no sense. Y'all talk out of both sides of y'all mouth. Okay. It waggle on both sides and rung in the middle. Because one minute you will say something that you think gets you out of trouble or, or covers for you. And then the next moment you'll say the complete opposite thing when it's convenient, when you can wiggle out of that. So you talk out of both sides of your mouth. So it doesn't make any sense because if submission is slavery, why would you do that for any man, no matter what his qualities are? That's because you don't actually understand the essence of submission. You don't, you don't know what submission looks like. 
You don't even know how to bring it out. You don't know how to demonstrate that. And so the lie that you tell men and that you tell each other and that you tell the world is that I'm not submissive because black men don't lead. I've never met a black male leader. I've never met a man that had something going on in his life as a man that stood on his masculinity in his life. But that's cap. Most of you have ran into that man. You just didn't have what it takes to deal with him. You didn't have what it takes to deal with the man because you felt like his influence over you and over the people in his life and his attempt to control his own environment was somehow infringing on you. Yet you already you 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 saw the benefit of that man as well, which is why you wanted to be with him. See, that's why y'all want to be with the high value man. That's when y'all want to be with the valuable man. Y'all want to be with the alpha. Y'all want to be with the leader. It sound good. It sound good. But most of you are not ready for that type of man. Not only are you not ready for him from an, from an aesthetic standpoint and an external standpoint, you're not ready for him internally because you don't have what it takes in your femininity to deal with that man's masculinity. You can't give him the feminine response to his masculinity because you spend so much time in your masculine energy that you don't know how to give feminine energy when it's called upon. This is how I know you don't know how because you think it's a switch you can hit. You think that just because you get older, you're now feminine. Just because you tired of running the streets, you become a wife. No, that's not the way it goes. Just because you get tired of running the streets with Pookie and them and you get tired of the game they run and all of this type of stuff that done made you tired, now you're in your 30s and you're tired of them. You're tired of the instability. You're tired of them not having no system or structure. You're tired of them not having no purpose or vision. you tired. You done, you 36 years old, 38 years old. you tired of these men that's around your same age or a little bit older talking about they in a talking stage. How you a 45-year-old man in a talking stage? That's something you do when you 16. That's something you do when you 20. Okay, so now y'all as chicks are tired of that guy. Okay, but that don't mean you're automatically equipped for the other spectrum of man who been on his purpose, who been in his masculinity. He comfortable in his masculinity. You're the one not comfortable in femininity. You don't know what it means. You don't know what it takes. And then you get upset. You think he's controlling. You think he's trying to do something to you because you're not accustomed to being confronted with masculine energy because you so busy in yours. And all you got to do is not only look at social media, but look at um, reality TV and things of that nature when these women encounter masculine men. The, when the the Muslim sister that was on um, 90 Day Fiance that I tell y'all about, the Shaida, the sister with Bilal, she actually had to drop down and come clean. I saw a clip of her and she had to drop down and come clean. And she was telling, I think she was telling her sisters. She said, I underestimated Bilal. I underestimated him. I underestimated his masculinity. He's an alpha. And basically she was saying, I came playing games with him. I thought I could play with him. I thought that I could get him to be in and get him to do all this other stuff, but he st be standing firm in his stances though. And I got to respect it. That's what she ended up saying. She's like, I respect it though. You know? And, and, and she spent a lot of time talking about stuff she didn't like. And I knew that that's what she didn't like because she wasn't accustomed to that. Whatever men she been dealing with in her past has not been that guy. And she ended up running into that guy and he was interested in her. Okay, fine. That's step one. Step two is you, you attracted him, but can you hang? That's step two. And step two, let me tell you, is the hardest step. Step one ain't hard to get him to notice you, for him to look at you and be like, oh, okay, you know what? We might give this a try. Okay. Then the next thing is to keep him once he step to you. Once he come over there to see if he can choose you, the next hardest, the hardest part is to get him to choose you. Is to get him to actually do that. To, to be good enough, to be feminine enough, to be womanly enough, to be high value enough as a woman, 
valuable enough as a woman for him to go ahead and pull that trigger and not be like, uh, you know, you, you almost, almost. See, almost is only good enough in horseshoes. Okay. And that's when she had to, she had to like drop down and come clean. She was like, I, I wasn't ready for him. I wasn't ready. I wasn't ready. But he's an alpha. And I got to respect that. Even his mom like told her, she, she, his mother had to like wire Shaida up. She was like, you're not going to get nothing out of him trying to be hard. You're not going to get nothing out of him. Let me tell you, that's my son. You're not going to get nothing out of him. In that little masculine energy you in, he not going to budge. Get feminine. Get soft. Go to him soft. You'll get anything. You'll get the clothes off his back. Go. And she did. And he, he immediately started relenting and giving the stuff that she wanted. All he wanted from her was her femininity. Stop battling me. Stop fighting me. You're not going to win the masculine war. I got all the masculinity for both of us. I don't need you in your masculinity when you deal with me. Not used to these guys. Y'all want to argue with these men when you do get with him. So you're not going to submit when you find a leader. You're going to be just as obtuse as you always are. And even more so because you're not going to see his leadership as something that you need to follow. You're going to see it as a challenge. And then you're going to try to rise to quote unquote meet the challenge. And that's the wrong way to go. That's the wrong thing to do. That's the wrong move. That's the masculine move. That's, you know what I'm saying? That's what men do with other men. See another man, you know what I'm saying, achieving a certain level of maybe success or excellence or something like that, and he get inspired. He feel like, oh, okay, well, shoot, let me get on my game, right? Let me get on my A game, right? Let me, shoot, let me step it up. I can do that too. That's the competitiveness of men, but that's a masculine energy. He's supposed to do that. He's supposed to want to do that. He's supposed to, when a man see another man achieving things, he's not necessarily supposed to want to submit to that achievement. He's wanting to rise to meet it. Oh, he on his purpose. I can get on my purpose. Oh, he get money. I can get money. Oh, he's, you know what I'm saying, living his life by the 10 life values. I can get myself together with the 10 life values as well. I can get myself together internally. I can get myself together externally. I can do that. But as for women, when you are a feminine woman and you see that kind of man, your first instinct is not to compete with him, it's to submit to him. And y'all think just by saying that, make it so. But you too busy. You've been living your life as a hyena. How you going to do that? How you going to suddenly switch fur? You can't do that. You a hyena. What? I mean, what? You're not going to be able to just flip that switch. And that's how I know you don't know how to be feminine. I'm going to show y'all a real quick um, video. But before I show y'all that, you know what? Let me just show the video. And then I'll say my last piece. Here we go. I'm calling because I need to get my dentist reassigned. So what's your username over here? It's six seven six eight. I'm sorry. Hold on. Oh my God. Hey, she asked for the user ID. Ma'am. I, I know time. you always say that, but every time I talk to them, they tell me to give them the user ID, which they told me is the same as the social. Hello. Oh, I'm sorry. Can you hold on one second? Oh, good. Is it that big a deal? Before you don't listen. I am listening. I'm listening to what she said. I'm sorry. And what's your user number, ma'am? It's six six seven eight. If she asked for the user ID, I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm so sorry. I, I actually meant it's um S L M six F F. Thank you. Okay, I found you. Oh, that worked. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm calling because I need to get my dentist reassigned. Did you see that? That's what we mean. 
The first one was masculine, combative, fighting. That's what y'all like to do. And you think it's normal. A lot of women watching that thought that first one was normal because that's what you do. It's the second one that you're not accustomed to listening to him when he say something and you think you know what's going on just listen all you gotta do that's all they want you to do is listen to them but you just want men to take it for at face value oh i'll give you femininity when you lead me somewhere i'm not gonna show you my femininity right now but you just gotta believe that if you choose me and put me in your life I'm going to be feminine. No, that's not how that goes. You, you know, I'm going to be feminine, but you can only access it if you're a leader, if you're masculine, if you make six figures or more money, if you're handsome, if you can lay pipe and break my back, if you can be my emotional tampon, if you can be easily, you know, be easy with me, but then be hard with me. Check me, but then be soft with me. Be tough with me, but then put me in place. Let me run you, but then check me. And then let me let me run your pockets, but then don't let me, you know what I'm saying, run over you or else I'm going to think you a simp or else I'm going to think you a mark. And if you check me, then I'm going to say you toxic. But I only want men that's man enough to check me when I'm in, in you know, when I'm out of order and put me back in my place because you got to handle me. And if you're not man enough, Enough to handle me then you shouldn't even waste my time you see it's stupid all of that sounded dumb all of that's dumb that's how y'all sound dumb 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 diddy dumb dumb y'all dumb it sounds stupid so we just gonna be blowing through these little narratives these are the games y'all play oh I'll, I'll be feminine when you leave i'll submit when you leave girl bye you don't even know what submission is again you think it's slavery so why would you do it for any man? Duh, if it's slavery, why do it for anybody? That's because you know it's not slavery, yet you don't quite know what it is. So you're hoping that a man have patience enough to teach you how to be a woman. And then you will, maybe you will try to be a woman. Girl, anybody got time for that? If you want men to stop playing, would you stop playing? And we want Black Lives Matter to stop playing as well. Because we're not playing with them. And in order to prove that we're not playing with them, we have a petition against them for the more than $90 million in donated funds that they stole from the Black community. The link to that petition is in the description box. So go ahead, get open the description box, click the link, sign the petition, share it, and contribute to it if you can. Also, sound off in the comment section. Let me know what you think. Like, share, subscribe to the channel if you have not. Once again, I'm your host of Crimson Cure, and this was my perspective. Bye-bye, Crimsonites. Hey, guys. Please like, share, and subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell. And if you've got more to say on the topic, leave a comment down below. Also, don't forget to support our sponsor who so graciously supports this channel by clicking the description box and the link for A-Game at agameherbal.com. You can go ahead and get a 10% discount off of your next purchase using the code Kendra10. This has been yet another Crimson Cure production, and I'll catch you guys on the next one.